Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Void Destroyer. This is episode 2, and this is the chat thing that I broke off last time. I've reloaded and brought it back so you can see the storyline unfold before your very eyes. Or something like that. Anyhow, update me on our status. Engines still offline. The main gun took heavy damage, and we had to eject it. It is no longer a threat, but we'd better keep the radiation meds handy. Do we really have to destroy it? Well, if we leave it here, it could fall into enemy hands or drift away and nuke a planet. Or it could drift away and nuke an enemy? Like my old commander used to say, when in doubt, wipe it out. We'll give it a proper send-off. Right, so if you look in the top right corner, guys, I have a few minutes here before any kind of chaotic stuff starts happening. So I'm going to try to make this somewhat of a tutorial because the game is exceptionally complicated. I'm sure I'm going to say dumb, stupid things. So, I am not the definitive expert on this, but I have a pretty good idea, at least right now, what I'm doing, so we'll hope for the best here. Alright, so, if you look in the top right, under where it says inactive, and you see the little line thing going, there's a whole list of stuff there, alright? So, destroy the gun debris, that's what we need to do. So, we need to go into command mode, once we're in command mode, we can rotate with the mouse, we can move the camera up and down by hitting shift Q or E, uh, the right mouse button fires, left mouse button targets, obviously. And toggle turret auto track target is um, shift A, and that'll basically, I guess it auto tracks where enemies are, and I think it might even auto fire at times. I'm not 100% sold on that one. And then we can toggle different turret groups, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to hop in, and here we are. This is command mode. And if you guys take a look, anywhere that I left click, that is where my turrets will fire. Alright, so what we need to do is target that and just annihilate it. So that's what we're going to do. And there we have it. Simple and easy. Good shooting. The primary engines are online now. But our gravity drive is still not responding. If we can't walk, we'll crawl. Repairs other than the gravity drive will have to wait until we get to the palm. We will head for the gate. Divert the crew to combat stations. Everyone form up. If we stick together, we'll make it. Our control consoles are a mess, but you should be able to activate the gate via tactical once we're within range. Alright, so basically what we need to do now, I'm actually going to go into control the ship mode. And we need to go over to the left. That's really, really, really speedy, by the way, if you hadn't noticed, guys. Controlling a large vessel is really, really fast. They handle just like fighters do. It's absolutely a lie. It's not true at all, but it could be true. All right. So what I'm going to do is... Apparently... There we go. I'm going to write myself... I don't have to do, but I'm going to, simply because I can. Eh, it's right enough. Alright, we're going to fly toward the deal. Alright, so you guys haven't seen the tactical mode yet. Let's bring that up before stuff starts getting chaotic. Alright, so here's tactical mode. And you can rubber band select all the stuff and send them to go do different things, if you felt so inclined. Me right now, I want to make this as my primary ship, and I think if I hit F, I do that. I'm not sure... If I go back to the war drum or not, I'm going to actually look for, there it is. I want the Perez A1. That's the one I want. That is the ship that I want. I do need to do one other thing before I get out of here, though. I need to set that for the crew to be on. And I am going to just click, I guess, there-ish. We'll just move a little bit closer, so that's the plan. Alright. So I'm now back within my... I don't need the crew on my ship. Just in the other ships. Alright, so it's heading on over. And hopefully everything pans out okay. So through the gate, things are going to start popping out. Unfortunately, I had another one of my wonderful mishaps where the uh, recording decided not to work correctly. It's always awesome and super fun when that happens. Alright, well, things are kind of going correct here, not a hundred percent. Alright, let's get back here and of course we will remove the 
control scheme here. Um, there it is. Alright, I'm going to use time dilation. That's another thing you guys haven't really seen. Basically, it slows down time so you guys can actually do whatever you need to do. Alright, it looks like we are already doing combat. Okay, so there we go. I guess we're already in battle at this point, and our boys are doing what they need to do. Alright, so we're going to get in here and start fighting as well. And see if we can't do a little bit of damage ourselves here. And it looks like indeed we can. And down he goes. Down he goes. Alright. Up next... What do we have? We have an arsonist. We don't like arsonists. They burn things. So we shall shoot the arsonist down and make him weep openly as we murder his face. But in a, in a totally nice, polite sort of way. You know, we don't want to offend anyone with face murdering. Alright. See if I can't close distance with this individual here. Oh. That's unfortunate, but he is down nonetheless. It looks like that guy was assaulting our main vessel there. Our command ship. This duelist doesn't have a chance. He's 2,300 meters away, though. He is pretty far away. We have our railgun powered up and ready to just massacre this guy as soon as we get within range. And he flew behind an asteroid, so that's unfortunate. Well, I fired at him, but boy, oh boy, did I not hit him. Well, I fired again. Well, our people have converged upon him, so that's something. The problem remains, though, there's going to be more stuff coming out, and we're pretty far away from our main uh, guy over there. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll manage this just fine. Bam! Okay, I think I might have gotten a kill blow there. Don't know. Not entirely sure. Okay, so the gate is there and more stuff coming out to play with us. All right. Well, let's get after it Actually, let's get after these guys. They seem to already be laying into our boy here the war drum as it were Fortunately that was outside of our range All right now we are going to get after him and We are going to say good day to him all right. We go. We landed the railgun attack, and down he goes. All right. Well, the Perez. Ooh. Oh, I just got hit with a missile. That that was unpleasant. You'll find the Perez is actually quite a bit better than the other ships that you have available to you right now. Well, for me anyway, for my uh, piloting style and everything else. Ooh. We just kind of rubbed each other there. We traded paint a little, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we just got shot with yet another missile. Which, incidentally, that is how you spell missile. It's a missile. So why is it that we always say missile? I don't I don't really understand that. Um, here we go. Looks like more fun is coming. Alright. Let's get in there and see what we can do. War drum is active. It's seeming to hold, I think. Yeah, oh, it's actually pretty hurt. War drum is not having a good day, so to speak. It's okay. Hopefully, we can outmaneuver these guys. My biggest concern comes with, is there going to be a capital ship coming after us, or not? Alright, so we, we've eliminated another one. And, what am I targeting here? Aha! Alright, this guy, he's already down. Oh. Come back, is he down too? Alright, well my boys are just taking care of business right now. Alright, well, not too bad. Not too, too bad, I gotta say. Well, looks like there's more coming, or at least one more. 
Maybe one left. It's a duelist. He's hiding behind the, the asteroid. Oh, I think I landed that too. Like a little mini boss that I am. And down he goes. Oh, we dodged the missiles because we can. Uh oh. There's a lot more bad Juju Magumbo going on right now. Alright. Well, it looks like there's some more stuff going on over here. Uh, that one's down. Alright. We'll switch over to you. Nailed it. Alright. So we took roughly like half of its, uh,. HP, oh goodness. Half of its hull integrity? I don't know what you want to call it. Whatever it is. Ooh, we got hit by a missile ourselves there. And down he goes. Yep, he's down. Alright, I don't know where the war drum is. I kind of lost track of our ship. Our vessel, if you will. And, oh, apparently we have the marauder here that we have to deal with. This thing is no joke. Seems to be laying into the war drum right now as we speak. And it is down. So I'm assuming the war drum is over there. And it survived with 35% hull integrity. It's not super great, but we managed to do it. I'd wager they weren't expecting much fight out of us. There's been a lot of mistakes made today. Yeah, there has. Alright, well I'm going to hop back in. I'm not sure why the war drum shows up as like a a bad ship here. I'm gonna, is it going to throw me into... Oh, there we go. I want to be in the war drum. Alright, well, we survived it. We did a lot of dogfighting, and I didn't lose a ship this time. So that's pretty impressive. The last time I did this, I lost all but two ships, and the war drum was about the same health. I'd say maybe 33. I ended up having to use the war drum to actually defeat the last ship. And the problem with that was... They could fire on me before I could fire on them, so I had to defeat, like, four final... What the heck just happened? I had to defeat four final uh, fighters with the war drum, as well as that last guy, and... My health started dropping really quickly in the war drum. I was, I was going lower, 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 and I finally got in range to start laying into that marauder guy. And once I did, well, things changed, um... He surpassed me at like 40%. That's when I finally started doing more damage than they had done to us. It was impressive. It was an impressive victory. But, yeah, I think we're about, I don't know, maybe four or five minutes ahead of where I was in the last uh, attempt at this. I have a pretty definitive spot in my mind where I'm going to stop this episode, so don't plan on this being necessarily the 25 to 35 minute episodes. This one's going to range kind of wildly. It could be a 15-minute episode. It could be a 45-minute episode. Depends on if I get 100% pulled in, locked in, and like I lose track of things. Or if I stick with my objectives and break it off at the right time. Sir, we are in range of the gate. Use tactical to activate. Got it. All right, so we're going to use our tactical ability to activate the gate. We click on it, activate gate, and then we go back to ship. And spacebar brings... Excuse me, Spacebar brings tactical open and closed for you guys, in case you were wondering. So, we are about to go through, and we are all jumping back to Palm Space. And here we go. There's the war drum. The war drum enters Palm Space. There's Palm 05. That was our starting base where we tried out the Perez A1. As our test piloting skills were much, much needed, apparently a lots of bad stuff has happened. All the um, structures they had, the oh, what was it? the shipyards and the, the platforms and things are all gone. These battle drones are not doing super good and then those I think are actually the minor union uh, fighters they took a beating as well so 
Uh, the palm five's hanging in there, but it's definitely not digging life, so to speak. Alright, let's see if we can't get closer to the palm five. Or palm zero five, as it were. Alright, here we go. This is the war drum. Palm zero five, what is your status? War drum, my console is showing you as fleet command. Can you confirm? The war drum has taken heavy casualties. Everyone on board with tactical implants was killed. When I was demoted, Doc said they couldn't take mine out without killing me. Thank my fragile brainstem. Thank you, lazy doctors. The mining platform opened fire right after you left, and those combat drones started pouring out. We launched against the platform thinking it was an isolated incident. In the confusion, armed ships launched out of Karakum and attacked us. We held them off, but not without taking one hell of a beating. We tried to launch a counterattack, but another wave hit us first. We started receiving and relaying the message from the fleet commander. That's when things went from bad to worse. There were explosions inside the palm. Sabotage? We're still digging through the debris, but it's looking like that's the case. We've been in combat ever since. What's the status of the palm? We have a lot of dead and wounded, and we've lost almost all of our blueprints for ships and platforms. The good news is that the drone hangar is functional, and we can build basic fighters. What are your orders, sir? We need to restore our platform and ship building capabilities. Find new crew wherever you can and start replacing the ships and platforms we lost. We'll also need to repair and upgrade the war drum. Will that be enough to hold them off until help arrives? We're not waiting for help. If those bastards think we'll just go home to our mamas. We'll see how cocky they are when we take Karakum. The harder we hit them, the sooner this will be over. Alright folks, I am going to send my... My poor little ship here, over to, uh, I'm actually going to go into tactical mode, and I think I can actually lay into this guy. I think he's within range. Doing a little bit of damage on the duelist there. And... Is it enough? 1%. We're trying to track, we're trying to track, we got him. All right, so the goal now is to figure out where in the heck I'm at in comparison to where I want to go. All right, I'm actually heading where I want to go. All right, I'm going to go chill over by Palm 5, and then I'm going to probably break off the episode roughly right around that area. And the reason being is we're going to get into a lot of seriously dark Juju Magumbo in this next little bit, and I think it's good to do it fresh as opposed to tack it on at the very end of the... Uh, of the mission or the episode so in the next mission or the next episode as it were oops we will um sorry guys i keep hitting wrong buttons stop it we will uh continue on with our current goal here of building up a platform getting uh, some supplies and upgrading and repairing our current war drum ship so basically, if we look over on the right-hand side, repair and upgrade the war drum, research ships and stations, build a shipyard, build ships, build marine frigates, and capture Karakum. That is the goal. That is your first real objective in this game. And, well, it's something that we're going to have to have done in the very next episode, so we're going to have to wait for that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. The game is going to be exceptionally difficult, and there's going to be more than... More than a good chance of me making horrible, stupid mistakes and a lot of really bad errors. Kind of like that pilot did who just crashed into me there. Either way, that's good for this episode, guys. I will see you next time with more Void Destroyer. Until then, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you later.